Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to chart sales versus targets using a combination chart. Now this is very fairly easy. We have a simple set here. We have periods, we have sales numbers, we have target numbers. All you need to do is go to insert and look at your combination chart here where it says insert combo chart and we've put our combo chart there. And basically Excel has made it really easy for us to create combination charts now where we can compare two type of charts together. All we need to do is just clean it up. I'm going to get rid of the grid lines here and give a chart title to it. Uh, we'll do sales versus target. But, and sometimes this is okay, but at other times this might not be visually appealing. Let's say, for example, we had changing targets. And maybe the target for the quarter, first quarter, January, February, March is this. Second quarter may be higher. Let's make this all six now let's make this 800, control enter, and we have that change there. Maybe the third quarter is a little bit lower. We'll make that 650, control enter to enter there. Maybe the last quarter is slow, so 200, control enter there. So you can see here with our target line, it looks messy, right? It doesn't have that uniform line that goes straight across. How can we make this more visually appealing? What we can do is instead turn it into a column chart and have it overlay the other column. So, select the chart, go to design, select change chart type, and for our target, let's turn this into a column. Click OK. And now we want to move our target line on top of our sales line, our sales columns. So, select my target series, right click, format data series, Make sure it's on the secondary axis. I forgot to select the secondary axis when I did the change chart type. Let me go back to it. I forgot to check that, but we can check it here. And for our overlap, we're going to make that 100%. And for our gap width, let's see if we can decrease, uh, decrease it. Let's see. And that looks pretty good. And what we need to do now is we have to do some transparency. We have to add transparency to the series. So I select on that. I'm also going to change the color. Instead of that orange color, let's give it solid fill and we'll make that kind of a gray color and we'll make it transparent. All right. Let's see, probably about 35% is fine. I also like to change the blue color. So let's change it to a green and that can be our target now. So what we have here is we have our targets here in the gray. Actually, maybe that could be a little bit more darker. All right. We have our gray. These are our targets. You can see how it's uniform for each of the columns. And we have our sales going above that. So this is something that you can do. It's still a combination chart, but instead of having the line that's kind of disjointed, you have a column that shows you the shaded part of the target and if the sales go above it you can see it clearly indicates that it went above target or it's below target. So there are your two ways using a combination chart where you can compare sales versus targeted amounts. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.